hi guys so welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this simple bubble gown with front and back beads it is so detailed and beginner friendly so if you're interested please keep watching so i'm going ahead to fold my fabric into two and i'll be cutting for the back and the front at the same time this part here is going to be serving as the center of the gown i'm going to be making so i'm going to go ahead to start inserting my measurements so this part you see here will be serving as my shoulder line and also as the sleeve length line if you want yours to be longer than this you can go ahead to add to the side but i want mine to be this short the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to insert my neck measurement so i'll go ahead to mark a neck width of four inch and a neck depth of four inch after marking it i'll go I have to connect with my ruler like you see me doing in the video. After drawing the neckline, the next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to come down by one inch from this side of the fabric and I'll go ahead to connect it to my neck width. This is going to be serving as the shoulder slope for the gown I'll be making. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to insert the full length of the gown I'm making. So I'm going to go ahead to insert the full length plus 2 inch sewing allowance. After doing this, I'll go ahead to draw a straight horizontal line at that point like you see me doing in the video. So here we have the hemline of the gown we are making. The next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to shape the side of the gown because I want it to be a little bit fitted and I want it to have a little bit of shape on the side. And in doing that, the first I'm going to go ahead to do now is to locate my armhole depth like you see me marking in the video. Next, I'll go ahead to mark my half length line. Then I'll go ahead to mark the hip depth line like you see me doing in the video. After doing this, I'll go ahead to insert my bust divided by 4 plus 2 inch for ease on my armhole depth line like so and mark. Then I'll move over to the waistline. I'll repeat the same thing. I'll go ahead to mark my waist divided by 4 plus 2 inch ease. Then on the hip line, I'll mark my hip divided by 4 plus 2 inch ease. On the hemline, whatever I have on my hip depth line, I'm going to go ahead to put the same thing on the hemline. After which, I'll go ahead to connect the sides together like so. After I was done joining the side, this is what it is going to look like. I'm doing this because I want the side to have a little bit of shape, but if you don't want this, you can just go ahead to sew it straight all the way down. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to flip my fabric over to the other side and mark the same thing so that it will be easier for me to shape the side when I am sewing my dress. And I'm marking this on the good face of the fabric because I'm making a butterfly bubble gown. After I was done connecting the side, this is what it is going to look like. Next, I'm going to go ahead to turn the fabric over to the other side again. Then I'll go ahead to cut the opening for the front of the dress we are making. So remember, we are cutting the front and the back on fold. I'll go ahead to measure my nipple to nipple divided by 2 on the center panel like you see me doing in the video. After measuring that, I'll go ahead to connect the points together like so. So this is what the gown is going to look like basically. This part here is going to be cut out and will be replaced with the beads later on as the tutorial goes on. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to cut it out. So just watch where I'm going to be cutting out so you don't make a mistake while cutting yours. After cutting, this is what it is going to look like. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to cut out my lining. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. But if you're not fixing the lining to yours, you can go ahead to just keep this process. So yeah, I'm going ahead to cut out my lining and this is what I have. So I'm going to be keeping the lining aside and I'll be illustrating with the main fabric. So whatever you do on your fabric, you'll be repeating the same thing on the lining. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to join the shoulders of my main fabric. So here I have the front and the one below will be the back. I'm going to go by my sewing machine to join the shoulders together 
making sure that the good face of my fabric is facing each other and i'll be repeating the same thing for the lining then i'll come back to show you what to do next so after i was done joining the shoulders this is what it is going to look like after joining the shoulders together and i also went ahead to do the same thing for the lining and this is what i have next i'm going to go ahead to do now is to join my lining to my main fabric and in doing that i'm going to go ahead to place my lining and my fabric like so making sure that the good face are facing each other then i'll go over my sewing machine to stitch all the way around after doing that i'll turn it over to the good face and give it a good press if you're not adding a lining to yours you can go ahead to finish up the sides using your bias or you can go ahead to fold it you also do the same thing for the hem of the gown so i'm going to go ahead to quickly do this then i'll come back to show you what to do next so after I was done attaching my lining to my main fabric, this is what I have. This is what it is going to look like once you're done fixing your lining to your main fabric. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to sew the sides of the fabric like so. So I'm going to go on my sewing machine to stitch this part together. Then I'll come back to show you what to do next. After I was done closing up the side, this is what I have. So I went ahead to close up this side and I did the same thing for the other side of the gown. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to attach my crystal bead to the center of the bubble gown. So this is the crystal bead I'll be attaching to the bubble gown. Before then, I'm going to go ahead to place the part I cut out on the center part of the bubble gown like so. Then I'll go ahead to start inserting my bead. The first three bits I'm going to be inserting is going to be the same length with the center panel. This is going to help keep the shoulders in place. After placing the three bits like so, the other ones is going to be having this falling effect like so, like this. So I'm going to go ahead to quickly attach the bits to the gown. Then I'll come back to show you what it looks like. So after I was done placing the bead to the gown, this is what it is going to look like. And this is what the gown is going to be looking like once you're done placing your bead. So I couldn't get the final look of the gown because it's for a client and it was an express job. But it really came out very nice. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial.